today I'm gonna to share with you a yummy Thanksgiving stuffing. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good morning, friends. Okay, I want to share with you this morning how I don't always get things right and my cooking doesn't always go smoothly. And this is important to share with you because this is gonna make you feel real good about you knowing that you always do things perfect and you're laughing at me or you never do things perfect and you're like you got a boost of like yeah I'm good I'm good so either way it's a win-win okay so yesterday I was filming and making a crock pot stuffing recipe for you I was so excited because I've never made one so I was like yeah this is gonna taste good because it started off really good a clue for me should have been the cup of butter the recipe asked for. I was like, that's a lot of butter for to saute the veggies in for only 12 cups of bread cubes. But I was like, eh, we'll just follow because I always follow the recipe first. So I did it, threw it in the crock pot, and it never really, like I did the full eight hours. It just still was like a soggy mess. And I was like, okay. So I threw it in the oven. So, and I was like, okay, I'll cook it for about 45 minutes to an hour in the oven because I added more bread cubes to it to like soak up all the moisture. Well, I forgot about it in the oven and so did Derek and we went to bed. Yeah, genius, right? Here's the thing. The alarms never went off. Smoke did a like billow out of the oven even when I opened the oven this morning at 7. But I laid back down with Derek because I'm like, I'm going to let that sit for a second before I whip it out. So it's an hour later and I gotta take it out of the oven. Shall we see what a stuffing looks like in the, that has been cooking in the oven all night? Sure, let's go for it. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bon appetit. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to go throw this away outside in my bathrobe on a Saturday morning because that's how I roll. <laughs> my house reeks of like something weird. So we got to open some windows, light a candle. But I'm not giving up. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not giving up. I am still going to make a crock pot stuffing. I'm going to start over and uh, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to find one that works. And that's going to be delicious. I'm not giving up. Never surrender! Never surrender. Welcome. Welcome to She's in her Apron where you never know what's going to happen. Hey, where are we? BYU. BYU. Daddy's Woo. happy. Well, we are here at Cougar Stadium and we are going against a team from Massachusetts. Can you believe that? It is Monday and I feel like poo poo. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm not feeling very well. Yesterday I got the flu bug and it hit me hard. Like I have never been that sick. Like things that were happening to me I have never experienced before. <laughs> For real. And uh, I was in bed all day yesterday just sick as a dog and um, and then, like, later in the evening, I was starting to feel better, so I got up and started making Monday's Motivational Monday video, and then I just couldn't do it anymore and went back to bed. So this morning, I'm still sick, but I'm not throwing up, which is good, but every once in a while, my stomach will just, like, cramp up, and then, you know, after what happens after cramping up. And, um, and so, but I was able to finish the vlog for you, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, I am... I feel good other than like 
my stomach will feel fine and then all of a sudden like i said it just feels like someone's in there like grabbing it and twisting it so it's so frustrating um i got my friend to do carpool after school so i don't have to do that i had to cancel tutoring for boston there's just no way and derek he just couldn't be able to uh, do that today um so it's just so frustrating because Thursday's Thanksgiving and I'm trying to get ready for Thanksgiving. I was supposed to go grocery shopping today. I would have already been home from the store. And so it's just frustrating. It's so frustrating. So I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe tonight I can run to the store. If not, Derek or Kelly will have to go do it. Um, but Derek has been, like, amazing. He has, like held down the fort he made dinner last night in the instapot he made a roast it was unbelievably de delicious i did end up having a little bite um because i wanted to taste it um it's so good so we're gonna have it again real soon and he said he would make the video on it so awesome it was so delicious oh my gosh it was so tender and just fell apart oh my gosh yum so we'll take you long when we do that again so he made dinner last night, and um, yeah, my house is, has exploded. It is so bad, but I appreciate the help from Derek. And so when the kids get home, they'll do their zones. I'm not freaking out too bad. Um, but yeah, so that's how I'm feeling today. I want to get some things done. We'll see. I'm just going to move like a turtle. I'll be laying down, getting up, laying down, getting up. So, But the first thing I'm going to do right now since my stomach start, stopped cramping is I'm going to go hop in the shower. So, and thank you everyone for the well wishes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much. Well, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I went and folded some laundry. Then my stomach cramped again, so I stopped. <laughs> and uh, right now I am fiddling with my Thanksgiving tablescape. There's some stuff in my van that I need for my tablescape. And um, Derek took the van he drove the kids to school so so I can't go grab the stuff in my van but let me show you what I've got so far I am making a video for you I'm not giving it all the way giving it away all the way all right so I don't know I got these placemats at Walmart and I got them because they're easy to clean they're like vinyl -y. and um, I have some non vinyl tablecloths but I figure these can last longer and not get stained and I wanted to keep the wood of my table because it's so pretty. And then I have the runner that I always have out. And then I have these um, wooden are they chargers that I got at Walmart as well. And then my plates that we're going to use for Thanksgiving are downstairs boxed up, so I need to bring them up. And then I have some red napkins that I'm going to put on here, and I'm going to make the table, uh, the napkin rings for them. I bought napkin rings, but I'll never use them, and I have a better idea, which I'll be sharing with you later. <sighs> I just don't know. Does it look funny with the placemats a little bit over the runner? I don't know. So I'm lo loving my turkey. I found him at the gift shop at Cracker Barrel, and he's super light, wooden. Like, he's so light. And I love him, but I feel bad... For anybody sitting behind him. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. Or do I put him on his side? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what you think. So what's going to be out here? We're not doing family style. We put all the food on the counter because there's just so much of it. So I have here gravy boat. Gravy boat. And that's what's in my car. And then I'm going to put rolls here, rolls here, and then two salt and peppers on each end of the table. So, um, but I'll give you a better look in another video that I'm doing. So, I don't know. I, I, I wanted a woodland, woodsy feel with the chargers and the wooden table. So, oh, but that dang turkey butt. You have to tell me what you think. So, um, I am short two napkins. I don't know where they went. I have searched this house high and low. So I'm going to run to Walmart and grab two more. Um, the plates are white with a silver trim around them, I believe. And I'm just going to bring in two more chairs to the table. So tell me what you think. Should I have the turkey front 
or sideways. I don't know. But I'm excited to get it all figured out. But I think, I don't know. I think this will be the start of our table setting for Thanksgiving. Okay, so Derek, and I agree with him, I'm gonna go find a thinner runner at Walmart, and if I can't find one, I'll just get the burlap and then, I don't know. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm gonna head out to the store, just in case tables turn and tomorrow I'm down again. So I made my shopping list, I went through all my recipes, got everything that I needed, it's all on this list with a few price matching if I go to Walmart. And here is our menu for Thanksgiving. For an appetizer, we're having pumpkin dip, deviled eggs, shrimp dip, a veggie tray, um, this green onion cheese from Smith's. It's so good. Of course, the entrees are ham and turkey. And then the side dishes are mashed potatoes, yams, green, fresh green bean sauteed, and then a little green bean casserole. Stuffing, red cabbage, jello salad, rolls. Uh, and I'm going to make a minced meat pie and then some pumpkin pies. And then the guests will be bringing um, pies as well. So I am going to head out to the store, but it's raining. Boo. So I'm going to get this done just in case tomorrow tables turn and I'm not doing well. But I'm feeling really good tonight, so I should be okay. Okay guys, I'm back from the store. I went to Smith's first, then Walmart, and back to Smith's because they uh, didn't have any frozen raspberries. They were all out. So tired. Um, but I saw my friend Melissa and Ari there, so hi. It was great to see them. So um, yeah, I have the grocery haul video for you. Check it out. But now I'm going to put all this away. What time is it? It is... Oh my gosh, it's almost 9.30 at night, so don't put that back in there. Back. Don't put that back in there. I didn't take one. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, I'm going to put this stuff away. Hello friends, it is Tuesday, and I think I figured out my Thanksgiving tablescape. I think I did. I found this runner at Walmart, but I'm going to go more into detail in my video, so you guys go check out the video on my Thanksgiving tablescape. But I do need to run to Dillard's today. I didn't notice that my gravy boat has a chip. That will not do, so I'm going to go bring it back. I'm going to go bring it back with some other things at Dillard's. I grabbed when I was there um, these napkins. They're so pretty and um, placemats to match them, but they're gonna get stained really bad and I thought no, so I changed out the color theme. So I have all these to bring back and exchange my gravy boat and I need to do that today. You have to go check out the video where I got everything. Ooh, hello friends, I look scary I know, and you are dusty again, my god. All right, hello friends. Welcome, welcome to my messy kitchen. So much to do. I'm wearing this on Thanksgiving. Ah! I'm going to wear it Wednesday, tomorrow, when I'm cooking everything, and then on Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Jeez, how many aprons do you have? And these aren't all of them. There's more in the laundry room, and there's more hanging up in my office from you guys. So, um, okay, so today I'm feeling better I'm so glad that I went grocery shopping last night um, I don't have any more stomach cramping my stomach just feels blah the peppermint tea helped but one of you said go get ginger tea so I'm gonna go do that today I'm gonna run back out to the store and go grab ginger tea um, and then I bought some steak knives but they're not serrated and I don't know how well they're gonna work so I might bring these back mm -hmm. But um, Kat, my fly lady mentor, she's going to be calling me in about 20 minutes. And I am going to attempt the crock pot stuffing again right now. Oh, yes, I'm not giving up on that. It's going to happen today. Today's the day. And I'm making you guys a turkey gravy, which sounds really good. I've never made it before. Look what your daughter just texted me from school. Made me laugh. Well, did it have the sound? last one. The last one. I want a dog for Christmas. Don't get too close. I don't know if they could see it. 
Like focus. Focus. She shows this dog and texted Derek, I want a dog for Christmas. That seriously is all they want for Christmas is a dog. Our yard isn't ready for a dog. I'm not mentally ready for a dog. And we've had them train with the neighbor dog that we watched and they never took it out. They never wanted to, like seriously, it's like. They did, they took it out potty every single time. Uh, not really. Well, not when they were gone. So I'm like a dog, really. So. <laughs> Your boss and he just said, yes, a dog. You want a dog? No. A pug? All right, so I'm going to get going on the crock pot stuffing, do my mentoring call, and film my tablescape video for you guys. I've got a busy day today, but that's okay. I, I'm in my element, and I love it, so. Okay, this is what's happening. I am redoing the crock pot stuffing, and I'm using way less butter than the rest, first recipe I tried called. So I'm just going to make it my own and see how it turns out. Okay, it's in there. Let's try it a second time. Oh, wish me luck. Okay, so I left the house to go bring back the, um, the uh, what's that thing, gravy boat and bring back the other things. And I get off the exit and I look over and I don't see my Dillard's bag. I forgot it at the house. I had to... Get back on the freeway, come all the way home. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. But I went back out, exchanged the gravy boat. Anybody want some kids? So, got a new gravy boat, and then I noticed that they had these butter plates there, and they're so cute. It says, more is butter, and then this says, um, butter, my, butter my buns. And so I got one for each end of the table. And on my tablescape video, I totally forgot to put the salt and pepper shakers out. Oh well. So, um, yeah, so um, I'll be wiping down and washing a lot of this stuff before we use it. But it's staying here. I am not moving it or taking it down. It's going to stay until uh, Thursday. And um, yeah, so we brought up this table for the kids. Um, Derek's aunt and uncle, who we thought weren't making it, are now coming. So um, we've got the other table. And so exciting. So we definitely need a kitty table this time. <laughs> Before, we were just going to have Boston and Shaylee and, um, and the two older kids were going to be at the table. But <laughs> nope. So we have this table here for them. Um, we moved the couch to make room, moved the tree over. And this is where we're at, so yeah. So an update on the stuffing. It cooked for an hour and high, and it's cooked for about four hours on low. And there's still a little bit of moisture at the bottom. Um, the sides are getting a little crunchy though. Um, I didn't spray it down. Um, but, so it tastes amazing. So, I don't know. It tastes really good. I'm gonna let it sit in here for a little while longer and I'm gonna eat this bite, but it tastes really, really good. But I forgot to spray this one, the sides down, but I sprayed the last time I made this with the sides down and it still got kind of burnt and stuff, so you just kind of keep your eye on it. So I'm gonna let this go for another hour and then see what it looks like. So the plan is cleaning and um, starting on the rolls because I'm going to bake them tomorrow. And they're my ma's rolls. I'll leave a recipe down below. Um, they have to be in the refrigerator tonight and then tomorrow they'll rise up and we'll bake them. So I'll be doing that and just clean, just cleaning. So um, stay tuned for tomorrow where tomorrow's vlog you are going to see the day before Thanksgiving. So. A lot of cooking. A lot of cooking. We don't do a whole lot of cooking on Thanksgiving Day. Majority of it will be tomorrow. So, come. Just the meat. And the dress, the stuffing. I do that on the same day too. And the mashed potatoes. So, join us tomorrow for the day before Thanksgiving. And you'll see a whole bunch of tips and tricks and all that. So, thanks for joining us today on the days in this vlog. So, hope you're doing good and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Toodles. Toodles.